So effectively now, um, in the early 70s, a bunch of gene sequences were identified in viruses. And these gene sequences were um, cellular, normal cellular genes that had been transformed within the virus. Okay? And then when they started to look at the, um, some of these factors in, um, in, in human cancers, they were identifying um, that the normal cellular genes that were being involved in the cancer was, were, were the same genes that were being picked up and integrated into the viral genomes. So, um, and there's, um, and we'll look at how that process occurs. I mean, you don't need to remember the names of these viruses and the names of these oncoproteins. Um, if we have a quick look at these oncoproteins here, some of them are these TK proteins. So that, that, that TK is, is a tyrosine kinase, and we'll look at tyrosine kinases later today. And also, um, some of these genes were um, human transcription factors that were being picked up by the virus, and some of them were these um, other sort of proteins that were being picked up by the virus. So, so these human oncogenes were being picked up by these transforming retroviruses. And um, there's a human gene called the MYC gene that was being picked up by one virus type. There's the herb gene that was being picked up by another virus, and there's a, there's a whole bunch of these um, genes. So what? How do these get picked up by a virus? So um, this is taken from the, um, the I think the Leninger textbook. I think from um, that, that you might have a copy of. Um, so here we have a human um, a mammalian cell here, this large blue cell, and this small unit here is a retrovirus, which is infecting the cells. So this is normal, um, you know, wild type biochemistry in action. You know, we get infected with a viral genome. The viral genome integrates into the cellular genome. Okay. Now, at some point in time, it's just a random event. This random event occurs and the viral genome integrates right beside one of these important um, cellular genes. And then when the viral genome repackages itself as part of its life cycle to go away and infect other cells, when it repackages itself, it unfortunately, by chance, picks up one of these human genes. So now, in the viral genome is a sequence of DNA, which is a human or mammalian sequence of gene. And if that gene happens to be one of these important genes that plays a role in regulating cell growth, then when that virus reinfects another cell, it, 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 it pushes that bit of sequence into, the, into the, the new cell and perturbs the cell. So um, this isn't how cancers are caused, but these sequences um, are clearly, w w have been identified and sequenced, and these important cellular genes play important roles in regulating cell growth. And it turns out that these um, these genes um, um, are, 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 are oncogenes, meaning genes that when mutated, they can cause cancer. Um, I guess one of the reasons they get mutated when they're picked up in the virus, I mean, I guess this is sort of a bit of second year biochemistry, but um, the viral DNA polymerase is not a high fidelity polymerase. So when the viral genome replicates, it introduces errors into the sequence and therefore it introduces errors and mutations into the human gene. So that when, um, so then it's quite common for these cellular sequences to get mutated in the virus and then cause problems when they're expressed. And hence it was actually, I guess, the good side of the coin, you know, the good side, bad side. The good side of this process is that it helped scientists identify important human sequences. And this is just, again, um, talking about that process that we've been looking at in these slides here. So um, this is just explaining that um, once the retrovirus inserts into the human genome, it um, captures a human gene, and as part of the life cycle, it then transfers that gene to another cell. The, the gene gets mutated, so the normal gene becomes an oncogene, and we identified 
genes such as the, 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 the MYC gene through this process.